trying to buy a ticket to a sold out game to get the cheapest price, you have a decision to make. When to buy. I'm here, I'm with whatever it costs. These diehard Duke Blue Devil fans figure the closer to game time, the more costly the ticket. If people don't have tickets, they're going to bring extra money to make sure they get tickets to get in the game. Wrong, says Duke economist Andrew Sweeting. It turns out that basketball ticket is likely going to cost you more three months out. With support from the National Science Foundation, he studies the science and complexities of ticket pricing and other goods with expiration dates. To understand how sellers behave and how markets for these kinds of goods should be designed. Welcome to Duke. Once you look at how prices behave, that has a lot of implications for how consumers should think about timing their decisions in these markets. People who actually buy a lot of game day tickets know the drill. In advance, a ticket could easily go for 250 for this game. Out here, I mean, you might get 100. It's just going to be paper in a couple of hours. Sports tickets are a very different beast than airline tickets, where the closer you are to take off, the more likely prices are to soar. The kinds of people who buy at the last minute are often business people who have pretty inelastic demand in the sense they're going to be willing to pay very high prices because they need to get on a particular flight. Sweeting says it just doesn't pay for airlines to unload unsold tickets by lowering prices at the last minute. Most people would wait to buy, including those business people. So there's strong incentives for a company such as American Airlines to try and get at least some people to buy early. Airline tickets are an exception. They don't follow typical pricing theories sports tickets do. Sweeting hopes his research will help economists better understand the big picture, how markets set the value of everything from tickets to food. The motivation is to try and test a lot of academic theories which have been, you know, entirely theoretical about how people should price perishable goods. To ticket buyers, he says buy at least two weeks early if you're looking to save on airfares. But courtside, buy early only if you're looking for a lot of tickets together or for the perfect seat. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.